Hey, what's up? Um, I have a little problem here. Um, basically, I forgot my hot cam. So, um, I just had about a two and a half pound to get off. First cast in this spot right here. So, I'm just gonna lean this up against the, um, bag and hope for the best. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me. I'm just leaning up against my fishing bag. Alright. Now, see, what's right here is a culvert and the bass hang right there. And that's one of the only spots I can catch them in good amounts right now. So, let's see if we catch it. This is like a pretty nice one too. Oh yeah. Pretty good one. Maybe around a pound and a half. Possibly two pounds. It's a nice little drop shot bass. For right now, that's pretty good. The other one was maybe around the same size, possibly a little, a little bit smaller. But that one's around a pound and a half. Alright guys, I'm going to release him. Um, I'm going to try to get some more. I had another one on. I caught four so far. My dad's got one on now. Is it a good one? Nuh uh. Really? Man. My gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a bluegill. My gosh. <laughs> Hold that. He's a hog, man. On a drop shot. Uh, I'm gonna wait. He's he's almost a pound. Whoa. Boy. You fight hard? Yeah, I, I felt he was spinning around. I thought, no. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh, anyway, him. He's hungry. He's almost a pound, probably. <laughs> I'd say he's probably about 13 ounces. So, I think so, too. He might be a pound. He's off. He's a bad thing. I'm telling you, this place might have better bluegill than the upper one. You hardly can't catch them, though. They're hard to catch. I can barely even put my hand on <laughs> Look how pale he is. He's really pale. is 14 ounces. 14 ounces. That's pretty fat. <laughs> Almost a pound bluegill. <laughs> it's got another one on. Is that a little guy? Yeah. He's fat though. <laughs> he looks like the one from Orchard Hills. I'll tell you one thing. Hard fish of the day.
guys, I got one on now. He's a nice, possibly two pounder. So you can stay. Oh. You know, he's probably bigger. He might be two and a half. Possibly three. Had another one on. Well, I was turning on the kit. No, he's not. He's probably. That's a good one for right now. Yeah, he looks big in the water. He's probably a pound and a half. Look how pale he is. Oh, he was fighting hard though. He might be two pounds. <laughs> Look how pale there is. No green in him. That's an ugly large mouth. <laughs> he looks gray. But I had another one on, maybe a little bit smaller. When I was turning, my dad was turning on the camera. I, I lost him. But that's around a pound and a half. He's not two. All right. Or get back to you guys. Man, it has been coming back lately. I'll get him for you. He's got one on right now. That's a good one. Let me get him. Hey, that's a two and a half pounder. If not. Yeah. Hey. Is your fish, buddy? I'm gonna get you some hook. I got a nice bass on right now. This is a big one. Oh crap! Wait, did you see this pig? Oh my gosh! Look at that pig! That's a three. Oh, that's pushing four, boys. Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Look at that pig! Oh my gosh, that thing's pushing four. Oh my gosh, that, that is a pig. Look at that thing. Oh! Oh! Oh my word! That's one of the biggest ones I caught out here in a long time. Oh my gosh, look at the mouth on that thing! Look at the mouth on that thing! Man, he took off drag like there's no tomorrow. I was trying to get the camera on. He, he missed it. There was a one good run at the end. Oh my gosh. That is a pig. That is a pig. That is a, that's a nice one. Man, for fall time right now, for fall time. Oh man, we're slamming them today. My dad's got one on too. For fall time right now, a three and a half to four pounder. Like, awesome. It's, it's Christmas Eve. Okay. The pig. Golly, let's get you back in there, buddy. Oh my gosh. That is a nice fish. Look at that thing. And there he goes. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'll get back to you. This little cove right here, that green right there, it's a good spot to fish. Let's see if we can get something to take a rubber bait. Oh, look, he just missed it. Oh, no, I hope the camera got that. He just missed it. I actually saw the fish. Oh, I hope the camera got that. That doesn't happen a lot of the times in the in the summer. I mean, not in some of the winter. You don't. See, oh, there he is. He came back and got it. Oh, he came back and got it, boys. Yeah. It's, oh man, that's a good one. That's a good one. Stay on, buddy boy. Stay on. Ah. Oh! Nope. He was a tricker, boy. He got off. Come on, guys.
happens, I'm going to show you what a circle hook does. Real quick. Alright. So that hook right there. Hooks them right in the corner mouth almost every time. So I'll show you how that works. Um, when the, if he sucks it down really deep. I know you can't see this, but the circle hook has a bend. It, the barb and the point bends in. So when it's up on the roof of his mouth or down, the barb will not hook it. So when it comes out of his mouth, it, it, it bends right in that circle, and bam, you got him hooked. So that's how a circle hook works. Nice pound and a half bass. Go back.